Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here, my name is Mandy. Today I'm sharing with you a BJ's Grocery Haul. If you're not familiar with what BJ's is, it's like a Sam's Club or Costco. You have to have a membership there and it's a big box store. You buy things in bulk. Um, actually, at BJ's, I don't think you have to have a membership. You can shop there without a membership. However, the prices are more expensive than if you have a membership. They also have a gas station. If you are a member, you can save money on your gas. Um, it's pretty nice. They put one in a couple towns over probably about a year or so ago, and they had like a, a really good deal on getting a membership. So I got one whenever they first opened. And I've only been a few times. I haven't been very often, as often as I would like to go. The girls and I went last night. It was kind of a spur of the moment trip. So I didn't really have a list of things that I needed or wanted. So we didn't get a whole lot of stuff, but we did get a few things for school lunches and snacks around the house. So let me go ahead and show you everything that we did get. The girls love mac and cheese for an after school snack. So we got the box that has the little containers in them. They pop it in the microwave and fix it. They wanted some chips for their school lunches. Um, I got some Nilla wafers. Those I will just put in like little Ziploc baggies and put in Amelia's lunch or they can have it as a little snack. Bella wanted the Meat Lovers breakfast bowl for breakfast or snacks after school. And then Amelia wanted the mini pancakes. These are really good for breakfast. Sometimes I'll heat them up and wrap them in aluminum foil and put them in like a thermos for her lunch. Um, she really likes that. And then these chicken melts, we haven't bought these in a long time. Bella wanted them. Amelia doesn't remember if she likes them or not. She used to, but it's like I said, it's been a while since we had them. And then some toilet paper. Their toilet paper is pretty good. I like it. Um, I used to always get cotton nail. I think it was, or Charmin, I can't remember. But their brand is actually pretty good. Their brand is called Berkeley Jensen, hence BJ's. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. And then Isabella wanted some more pretzels. They actually had a $3 off coupon, I believe it was. Um, if you're a member and you go on their app, they have coupons. So I got, it was either $1.50 or $3, I can't remember now. Um, off of the pretzels and Amelia loves the Purdue chicken nuggets and this is a three pack of those um, we got some Cheetos they do the mix and match like Sam's Club does where you get two for like eight dollars and something I can't remember the exact price but we got the flaming hot Cheetos for Bella and then the puffs for Amelia and Kaysen. I did two bags of Tostitos. It was the mix and match as well. I got a 10 pound roll of ground beef. Um, this is 88% lean, 12% fat. It was $3.99 a pound. It's not quite 10 pounds, almost 10 pounds. And then um, I haven't used pink Himalayan salt in a very long time because I've been out of it. So I went ahead and got a bottle. This has got the grinder on top of it. I love this in, um, I love this when I'm cooking or to put it on popcorn. It's really good on popcorn. And then I'm almost out of my ground cumin. So I got some of that. All of the bottles were dented, but it's fine. And then the kids were almost out of their gummy vitamins. So I got the little critters and some elderberry gummies. I saw the Tyson blackened chicken breast strips. These are really good in salads or just to eat them on their own. And they had a coupon for this. I believe it was $3. I'm not 100% sure, but they did have a coupon for that. Um, I got some undies for my husband. And then Amelia saw this cute little shirt. It's Stitch. Uh, it says made it on the nice list. I think how cute and then for Christmas every year on Christmas Eve we get new PJs um, so I saw this set and I got it for Jason um, it's really nice it has the shorts a t-shirt and pants but it's lightweight it's super soft I love how it feels it's lightweight and because we live in Florida so sometimes our Christmas is hot 
and he doesn't like the flannel PJs or like the thicker type PJs. So I got this one since it's really lightweight and thin. I think he'll like these. Um, and then Bella saw these. They have little Christmas trees in the buffalo plaid. Very cute. It says that it has a matching top, but I didn't see any tops with it. Um, but those are really cute. These are lightweight as well. They're thin, so those will be good for her. I knew that I was almost out of my Downy Unstoppables. This is um, BJ's brand of Downy Unstoppables, and it smells just like the Downy, so it was a lot cheaper as well. So I got two bottles of those. Um, it takes two bottles to fill up my big glass container that I have in the laundry room, so I always get two of them whenever I go. And we were completely out of paper plates. Got a pack of those. I think there's 200, what's it say, 204 plates. And then some flushable wipes. I like to use these whenever Kaysen uses the bathroom. Um, I don't flush them down the toilet though, just because we're on a septic tank. I know it says it's safe for it, but I don't. I just put them in the garbage can. I buy the flushable ones because there have been times where I've accidentally dropped it in the toilet. So it's like, okay, you know, if I drop one once a month or something, it's not gonna hurt the septic tank. Um, but they're just individual packs in here. So I got those. And I do believe that is it. That is everything. Um, like I said, it was a short spur of the moment trip and didn't really have a list of things that I wanted or that we really needed. But I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.